Stop letting people tell you what you should or should not want. I'll say it another way. Stop letting people tell you what you want and what you don't want. So what do I mean by that? We're going to get into it in this very uh, short Car Chronicle segment of the Tamra Tamu Collective where dreams have no filter. So what am I talking about? I have noticed, and I don't think there's any ill intent behind it, but what I've noticed is that there's a lot of messaging that goes a little something like this. There's various iterations of it, but I'm either hearing people say or I'm listening to people say things like, for example, I'll use money because that's an easy, the easiest example. And I like talking about money. I hear people say, you know, you don't, people don't want to be rich. They just want or want to feel what they think having a lot of money is going to make them feel. Or, you know, another way that I've heard people say is, you know, people don't want a million dollars you know, in salary, in business or whatever. They don't want a million dollars. They just want to experience feelings that they think the million dollars is going to bring them. Now, I know I said that I understand or I don't think that there's any ill intent behind that messaging. And I understand what those individuals are trying to say. What I, what they're trying to say is, or what they are saying is this. If you want to feel freedom, because many of us equate having what we would deem a lot of money, having, and, and for some of us, having a lot of money doesn't start until you reach that seven seven figure point if that is your perspective fine stick with that but many of us feel having a lot of money is going to help us or give us a feeling of freedom having some of us feel that having a lot of money is going to give us a feeling of being abundant and being luxurious and feeling opulent and feeling vibrant. And we could, I'm using the example of money because like I said, that's the easiest example, but we could use anything that we put on a certain type of pedestal as if to say, if I reach this level of income or if I reach this level of business or if I have this house or you know if I live in this city then I will feel this way then I can be this way and that is not the case because the truth of the matter is that you can choose to feel abundant right now you can choose to experience freedom right now because I don't care what is going on in your circumstance, in your environment, in your 3D experience. There's something, different aspects of your experience that you can pull from where you can experience freedom. And oftentimes we look for the big thing. We look for the flash, you know, we look for the all the bells and whistles. And sometimes you don't need all the bells and whistle, whistles to feel freedom, you know, to feel adventurous, to feel abundant. Because number one, you already are abundant. You already are free. 
You already are prosperous. You are infinite, abundant, expressed. You are infinite intelligence. You are an extension of the universe. How can you not be abundant already? So there aren't any conditions that affect that. So to say, you know, if I have a million, when I get a million dollars, I'm then going to feel this way. That is a condition. And who you are, what you identify with, has no condition. It's, it's like it's either you are or you aren't. Either you know yourself to be abundant or you don't. So, after that long explanation, that is what the people that, that say things like, you don't want a million dollars, you just want to be free. You think that being having a million dollars is going to allow you to feel this freedom that you want to have in your life. That's what they're trying to say. However, it becomes problematic. That speech becomes problematic because then it may sound to some people, it's almost as if, you know, you're telling people, well, that's not really what you want. And I'm here to tell you, look, if you want to, if a million dollars, and, and you can use any amount, again, this is anything, money, whatever, a business, whatever. But if a million dollars is what you desire, then that is what you desire. Don't listen to these people say that. When you hear that, don't take it as, oh, well, is this person trying to tell me that this is not what I really want? Don't second guess anything. Because here's the deal. You can desire a million dollars. You can desire the freedom to feel the freedom that would come with having a million dollars. You can feel that now. You can have both. You can experience freedom. You can experience abundance. So, for example, if, so here, okay, so here's something that I do now. This may be <laughs> a little, it may sound a little cheesy or, but it's just to give a small example of how you can incorporate you know, certain aspects like, you know, I, I keep saying abundance and prosperity. So to take a bath with bath salts or, you know, certain uh, scents of soaps and candles and incense, that makes me, that puts me into a state of opulence and prosperity and feeling luxurious and feeling free right now I'd like to use certain glasses for certain drinks when I'm drinking tea there's a certain type of glass that I like to drink out of when I'm drinking tea there's a certain type of cup that I like to drink out of when I'm drinking coffee that's what I do. Those are different. And that's what I was, that's an example of what I was saying earlier about how you can find, and you don't even have to find it. Just, just think about things in your daily life that you may be overlooking that when you do those little things, you just, you feel a certain way. And sometimes you may not even be able to put words to how you feel but all you know is that you can say that when I do this this makes me feel good when I do this when I experience this I feel calm I feel peace I feel free I feel like I'm indulging in life I'm enjoying life when I do this some of you may feel that when you write when you paint, when you stand outside in the sun, when you go, I love, I am um, fortunate enough to live in a place where I can, I can walk outside all year long. 
okay? I can be outside all year long. There's no snow here. There's no real cold, I should say, um, here. But anyway, um, so to feel the sun on my back, on my arms, on my face, that puts me in a very freedom state. It just does, okay? There's no explanation. But what I want to tell you is hold, keep your desire. Because when you want something, first of all, your desire, the fact that you desire something makes it valid. And also know this, if you, when you desire something, it does not necessarily mean that you are wanting that thing because you think it's going to bring you something that you can't feel right now you, because, you, because it's conditional. That, and that's not always the case. And so the messaging that I was referring to earlier, it puts, it, it sort of puts everyone that desires something that they don't have right now, it puts them into a box of, a box that says, okay, if you, if you are a person who desires something that you don't have, then that means you're missing out on what's in front of you right now. Then that means you're missing out on how you can experience life right now. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. So if you want the million dollars, then have want and have the million dollars. See yourself existing as a millionaire. See yourself being the millionaire. Take it as far as what would you buy? What would you purchase? What would you invest in? Who would you help out? How would you help yourself? What would you buy for yourself? What would, how would you act as a millionaire? And it doesn't matter that, and I'm kind of getting away from the topic of this video, and it doesn't matter that if what you want, you've never seen anyone else close to you with, it doesn't matter because it's your perception. What do you perceive a, a person with a million, how a person with a million dollars would act, would, would be, would do, would go? Where would you go? Okay, write it down. You may even need to get in your car if you, if you say, for example, let's say you live in, let's say you live in a, a city that is crowded, loud, and in your mind you're thinking, okay, when I get a million dollars, I'm going to move, maybe not to the country, but I'm going to move in an area where I have less neighbors. So, less neighbors may mean more quiet, less neighbors may mean for you more peace well how can you have that now you may even want to get in into your car and drive to an area where people don't have a lot of neighbors where it is quiet where there's not a lot of traffic just to be in that state so this was longer than I anticipated but want what you want. Do not dilute it. Okay? Don't let people tell you what you want and what you don't want. Okay? Be true to it. Own it. Embrace it. If you want the million dollars, then desire, want the million dollars, have the million dollars in your imagination, and be the millionaire. Be the millionaire. Okay, so I know that this helped you. And thank you again for tuning in to another Car Chronicle segment of the Tamra Table Collective, where dreams have no filter. Until next time, cheers.